Thank you, Mr. Secretary. <clears throat> I now recognize myself for questions. Secretary Mayork, as, as I've already mentioned, the non-detained docket has grown at an unprecedented and unsustainable rate. Because this administration refuses to use its executive authority to deter illegal migration and mitigate this chaos, we know that the non-detained docket caseload will only continue to rise. Again, for reference, only 1.3 million of the more 7 million cases on the non-detained docket have been adjudicated and ordered removed. What's your plan to remove the more than 1.3 million migrants who no longer have a legal basis to remain in this country, and how long will it take you to effectuate every single removal order? Mr. Chairman, uh, this administration in the last 11 months has removed or returned more than 630,000 people, more than in any fiscal year since 2013. We take our enforcement responsibilities very seriously, and we have only increased the enforcement efforts over past efforts. I will respectfully submit to you, Mr. Chairman, as I articulated in my opening statement, that the bipartisan uh, bill that a group of senators worked on, I had the privilege of being seated with them, would have delivered a consequence regime like no other. It would have been the first time since 1996 that our broken system would have delivered the much needed fixes that we need to fully enforce the law and to deliver a consequence regime that will indeed deter illegal migration. Uh, that's a great answer, but what are you going to do about the people who are still here? Do you have a plan in place to get remove those people on an orderly basis? We certainly do, and we continue to execute on that plan. It is through that effort that we were able to remove or return 630,000 people over the past 11 months. We will continue to accelerate those efforts with the resources we have. Our proposed budget seeks additional resources, not as many as the bipartisan legislation would have provided to us. But you don't have that legislation, sir. So how can you justify using ICE detention space for border decompression efforts when the department has such a large volume of interior enforcement needs? Uh, Mr. Chairman, we use uh, our detention capabilities to ensure that our enforcement priorities are realized. And our greatest enforcement priorities are to ensure that individuals who pose a public safety or national security risk to the American people are detained. That is our highest detention priority. Well, I can tell you that the two people who were recently murdered in Ohio by aliens, uh, their families aren't going to accept that as an answer. I recognize